If you've ever broken off that perfect golden triangle of Toblerone, you've probably never thought about the precision behind it. Those iconic peaks aren't random. They're the result of a century-old formula that Swiss engineers have turned into one of the most advanced chocolate molding operations in the world. Here at Food Process Insight, we've explored inside one of Toblerone's flagship plants. And what we found is extraordinary. From the roar of massive conchi machines blending cocoa butter and milk powder for hours, to robotic arms placing each bar into its honey-colored sleeve, every triangle is crafted through a combination of heritage and automation. The air inside the facility feels like a mix of warm cocoa and precision engineering. Conveyor belts glide with surgical rhythm, carrying molten chocolate that's measured to the gram while temperature sensors keep it within a half-degree window to ensure that signature Toblerone snap. This isn't just candy. It's a carefully tuned process that merges Swiss craftsmanship with 21st century technology. Today, we're stepping inside the world of Toblerone, from raw cacao beans to the unmistakable triangular bars that symbolize Switzerland itself. Welcome to Food Process Insight where we uncover the hidden science behind your favorite treats. When you first walk into a Toblerone production facility, the air itself feels alive, thick with the scent of roasted cocoa and warm honey. But what truly stands out is the scale. These are not small artisan kitchens. They are state-of-the-art chocolate ecosystems capable of producing over 300 tons of Toblerone every single day. Each plant operates as a synchronized network of temperature zones, mixers, conches, and molding lines. Nothing moves by hand. It's all part of a perfectly timed sequence monitored by hundreds of sensors and a digital control hub that oversees everything from ingredient flow to final packaging. The factory floor stretches for hundreds of meters, divided into sweet corridors each representing a distinct stage of chocolate transformation. In one zone, milk powder is heated and homogenized. In another, massive five-ton conche tanks churn melted chocolate for up to 72 die, tea savagery two hours, polishing its flavor and texture to perfection. It's here that Swiss precision meets industrial power. Every machine hums at a steady frequency, every belt moves in rhythm, Workers stand by transparent enclosures, checking viscosity readouts, ensuring the chocolate's smoothness is within the 16 to 18 micron range, thin enough to melt instantly on your tongue, yet thick enough to hold shape. At full capacity, this factory can craft millions of triangular pieces each day, bound for airports, supermarkets, and travelers across 120 countries. And yet, behind all that automation, lies something distinctly human, the artistry of maintaining flavor, balance, and heritage in every bar. Every Toblerone bar begins with a blend so carefully measured, it feels more like chemistry than cooking. Inside the ingredient hall, giant silos store cocoa liquor, sugar, milk powder, honey, and almond nougat, the five pillars that define Toblerone's unmistakable taste. Each ingredient is piped, weighed, and sifted automatically before entering the mixing drums. There's no guesswork here. Flow meters calculate viscosity, while digital scales track ingredients down to fractions of a gram. The entire system is sealed and climate controlled, keeping the temperature within 18 degrees sex to 20 degrees sex, because even a small fluctuation can dull the flavor or alter the snap. Once blended, the mixture begins its long journey through refining rollers, five massive steel cylinders that press the chocolate mixture until the sugar crystals are reduced to less than 20 microns in size. This is where Toblerone gains its signature smooth texture. But the real magic happens next. Conching, a process that can last up to three days. In huge open tanks, mechanical arms slowly churn the chocolate, while warm air circulates through it. This constant movement drives off bitter acids and deepens the aroma. You can actually hear the change. From a thick, dull paste 
to a silky liquid chocolate that flows like molten velvet. Finally, honey and almond nougat pieces are added, blending heritage with texture. Each batch is then tested for flavor profile consistency. Because for Toblerone, Swiss made doesn't just mean origin, it means perfection measured in microns and minutes. Once the chocolate blend reaches its perfect viscosity, it's ready for the most visually stunning stage of the process, molding. Rows of triangular polycarbonate molds glide across stainless steel conveyors, moving in flawless synchronization. Each mold is pre-chilled to exactly 12 debutuins, ensuring that the molten chocolate fills every corner without bubbles or air gaps. From a series of overhead spouts, liquid Toblerone flows like glossy silk, perfectly measured by volumetric pumps. Watching it pour is hypnotic. Ribbons of rich chocolate folding into sharp, geometric peaks that will soon form the iconic mountain range of the Toblerone bar. But that signature triangle shape isn't just aesthetic. It's structural engineering. Each peak and valley helps the bar cool evenly, reducing stress cracks during demolding. Even the spacing between triangles, 13.5 millimeters, is calibrated to maintain consistent snap and mouth feel. After filling, the molds travel through a three-stage cooling tunnel nearly 50 meters long. Here, cold air moves in layers, dropping the chocolate's temperature gradually from 30 degrees Delice to 8 degrees C. This controlled descent locks in the glossy finish, while allowing the cocoa butter crystals to stabilize, a process known as tempering. At the end of the tunnel, robotic arms flip each mold releasing perfect Toblerone bars onto padded conveyors. They slide past optical scanners that detect shine, alignment, and even surface microbubbles invisible to the human eye. What emerges from this section of the factory isn't just chocolate, it's precision solidified. Once the freshly molded Toblerone bars emerge from cooling, they enter a space that feels less like a kitchen and more like a laboratory of precision. This is the quality control and packaging zone, where every bar is judged by both humans and machines. The first step, automated inspection. High-speed cameras scan each bar under polarized light to detect imperfections, cracks, uneven peaks, or micro-blooming on the surface. If a single triangle looks off, the bar is automatically redirected for remelting and reuse. Nothing is wasted here. Even the tiniest fragment is recycled back into the production flow. Next, the bars glide toward the wrapping carousel, a circular machine that moves with mesmerizing rhythm. Golden foil sheets are cut, folded, and sealed with exacting symmetry, hugging the chocolate just tightly enough to protect the shine without damaging its edges. The air inside the foil is replaced with nitrogen, extending freshness by preventing oxidation. Once wrapped, robotic arms slide the bars into their iconic triangular cardboard sleeves, which are printed, scored, and glued right within the same plant. Each sleeve carries traceable codes for batch origin, timestamp, and packaging temperature. Finally, finished Toblerone bars pass through the human touch point. A quick random inspection where quality experts physically hold and bend bars, listening for that perfect snap. That sound, crisp and clean, is the final approval. It's not just chocolate quality. It's an audible sign of Swiss precision done right. From the packaging hall, the Toblerone bars move on to automated palletizers, stacking thousands of golden triangles into towering formations. Each pallet is wrapped, barcoded, and transferred into temperature-controlled warehouses, where the air is kept at a steady 16 degrees C, the sweet spot between shine and structure. From here, the journey continues across continents. Refrigerated trucks deliver to European hubs in Switzerland, France, and Germany, while air freight shipments carry Toblerone to more than 120 countries. Each carton is logged into a global traceability system, meaning any single bar can be tracked from cacao bean to store shelf. For a product that's over a century old, 
the scale of precision is breathtaking. It's not just about taste. It's about maintaining the emotional consistency of a brand that travelers associate with airports, mountains, and moments of nostalgia. Standing on the factory floor, surrounded by the scent of chocolate and honey, you realize something profound. This isn't a candy story. It's a story of human obsession with consistency, perfection, and trust, built over decades of engineering and craftsmanship. So, the next time you break off that familiar triangle, remember, every bite carries the work of thousands of people and a century of innovation, all converging into one perfect snap. This is Food Process Insight, where we reveal how the world's favorite foods are truly made. Would you ever want to visit a chocolate factory like this? Or do you think seeing the process would take away the magic? Share your thoughts below. Subscribe to Food Process Insight for more real factory tours and hidden food engineering secrets every week.